Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a um, face palette collection. So I do have a decent amount. Um, this is actually going to be a part two. I mean, it's going to be a two-part series. So this is part one. So part two will be filmed later. Um, don't know when. <laughs> um, but yeah. So this is all the ones that, and then I'll probably do like um, the list of like the trios and anything like that. And the ones kind of have the one I want to pan. And also some more in my like my other part of my makeup collection. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up later this week, hopefully. Um, so let's get into this video. Um, so the, my goal is, of course, to go through these and get the, have some of these as I go. But yeah, not really happening, you know. So here's the other one of the shapes, shape doors. Um, this is the blush one by Zachary. How do you say this? Zachary Vane or whatever. Um, this one has, I might just watch it. This is the one I liked at the bunch. So the other one was a contour one. This one is the blush one. So this one I really do like. Um, funny, I didn't really like the BH, um, blushes in there, but, um, I do like, did I swatch that one? Maybe. <laughs> I really do like, um, these for some freaking reason. I don't know why. Um, but yeah. So there's those. Like I love these two, three right here. These are pretty too, but um, I don't know if I'm gonna use that one. Maybe, who knows. That's the only one I'm kinda like, eh, about. Um, this one off with the Revolution um, blush palette, which it isn't. Um, I believe I got this one either of, like when they had like a mystery item for free or whatever, and this one this, this guy came with. Um, this is the Golden Sugar 2 Rose Palette. I guess if you count these two as blushes, not on this tan skin. So, um, these are really nice. They are, um, like a, I don't want to say jelly or whatever you want to call it, but, um, baked formula, I guess you want to call it. Um, but these are very, they're not the most intense. Some of them are not the most intense ones. This is the one I am, like, I like, but I'm not loving it. So I have a side in, in a, these two, um, again, what, on what skin tone, <laughs> um, they know I'm not going to show up on this stain ass. Um, but the highlights are really pretty, like, look, they're just really pretty. So it's like, I see it, um, like, I'm like, do I need it? No. Um, but do I like it? Yeah. So I'm like, he's kind of hanging around and staying around for a little bit. Then Nadia sent me this little guy. I finally decided to put him in my thing. So this is the Afterglow Highlight from Omni K. These I do really like. I can use all of these. I haven't decided if I really want to um, actually depot some of my um, face palettes. That's to get some, like, especially some of them, like, then I can decide if I really want to keep them or, you know. So there's those. Might as well do swatches for why not. So, Yeah. Especially like the, um, like not in like the tin packaging, it's like, you know, like the cardboard packaging I'm thinking about doing. I haven't actually decided to do that or not. So this is from Polite Society, Two Faces, Little Friend. Um, this is Go Flush Yourself. This one I can use. I still have this thing on top. Uh, I have used it. It is really pretty. I do really like it. Um, I can, I can use all these shades. Um, it has like a little smell to it. Um, like it's like a flower smell, I guess you want to call it flower smell. Kinda, yeah. So that's what they look like. Again, I can use them. I just um, it's kind of like mixy, but I really do like them. And then this one I got from Boxycharm. This one is from O P V um, Beauty. Um, this one did came. This is in shade one. He did um, got her on this way because I've heard like any everybody that got these um, palettes, these gotten um, broken. Luckily, mine um, broke in a good way, so I could repress them. So and that's what I did. I did repress, and I really do like it. It's really nice. It's just like he's very fragile, so I gotta be careful of him. But every time I swatch him, I really do like like this like them especially that one that one's gorgeous and the bronzer is perfectly on me as well his one is a um, beauty bakery bar and this is a brownie one this is another one i haven't decided if i want to pan or not um 
So let me show you what. But every time I swatch it, I was like, eh, frick it, keep it, I guess. Like the bronzer is not too deep on me. Like if it was a duo, I'd be like, flick yeah, but it's that cool tone. I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, this one, this is another one I'm thinking about. Like this one, this one, and of course the Afterglow, the ones I'm thinking about depotting them and sticking them in my Z palettes and everything like that, then use the shades that I want to use up and keep the ones I do. It's kind of what I'm thinking of. Like with these little cardboard dudes. Then I got a little Morphe um, Trio. Um, this is a blush trio and um, this is a pop of coral, which I really do like this one. Especially the middle one. Here's another one I'm like, I really do like it. But yet, you're not going to see these guys, but they do show up more nudie on me. Just kind of like I really like that one. And then these two are a little bit too light for me. And I got three cats in here. Oh my god. So we got Puss. Then Callie's over there. And then um, Lou. Well, let's call him Lulu. Um, Lucius is down there. Being adorable little turkey. Then we have a Sugar Rush. This is similar to um, Tarte's brand. But more. Um, more. What do you call Teenagey. But these are intense highlighters. These are gorgeous. This one is in Fresh and Frosted. This is, this one is just like highlight to the next level highlight. These are gorgeous. If you don't like blinding highlighters, which I hate when people say that because blind highlighters mean different to anybody else. Like a blind highlight to someone that doesn't like highlight, it'd be more of a satin. You know, it's like, oh, blind highlight is always different in, in to different um, people. But this one is very um, intense. Oh yeah, and these are gorgeous. I love them. I can use all of these three. Um, I was just like, as soon as I swatched it that one time at Ulta, I was like, you're coming home. And it's just like, whoo. Here's a little beauty juice little guy. This is a handbook for a recent decease. I have the eyeshadow palette, and of course I wanted the, um, the little trio of eyeshadow, trio of um, face highlighters. But this is just kind of like cute. <laughs> These are not like intense as those, but those are pretty, pretty. These are just pretty highlighters. I have like a lot of like my face palettes are highlighters. And then here's one from Revolution. And this one is in Cheat Kit. This is in Make It Count. So I can use all of these, um, especially like this one might be a little bit too light and I can use them. This one I probably use kind of like as a, um, not like to say, um, what you call it? There we are. There's those guys. These two, this one is probably like a blush and then the rest of the highlighters. These two would be like a little bit too, maybe too a bit light. So it'd be like mixy or this is more champagne. This is more like, they both. This is like a yellow champagne, I guess. Yeah, yellow champagne, and then it's like an yellow champagne. Okay, now let's get into another one. This is a loony one. This is I Love Revolution. This brand you gotta be kind of careful of because sometimes they're really good or sometimes they were not. So, but I do like the highlight formula of I Love Revolution. This is kind of like a bake level thing. Do I need both of these? Not really. They're similar. Ish. Um. Okay, this one of them is like it's more bronzy. Then we got like an orangey, which I really do like orange highlighters. And of course, a super white one. Which I can use them. Um, it's just like it's, um... Like, I do have, like, a white highlight on. I just kind of, like, stick it in the corner. There's those. Those are really pretty. Like, not, like, in my opinion, not glittery or anything. They just kind of, like, like that. Okay. Now let's get into another one. This is from W7. It's what it looks like. I got this from Five Below. Let's 
Callie. I'm like, what is Puss doing? I'm like, Puss is over here. Oh, I want your Puss. He was out playing in the rain. So, and he doesn't like anything on him, so he's just kind of like, let him dry off naturally. He's a Puss. These are really pretty. I do like these. The only problem is that the bronze is a little bit light for me. I believe this is the deepest one. Like, I can use it. It's usually like a contour or whatever. Like, down the nose or set my brows. That's how I use these cool tones. This, that one. Okay, now let's get into Morphe. This is the one that I did that Morphe um, video. I was like, I know I had a palette of this because I know I bought it. And yeah, I do. I just couldn't find him. So, here's where he is. I did find him. And I really do like him. He is, um, the... The, I believe the, what is this called? Highlight and Contour Palette. And this is a 8H, I believe. I don't know. But yeah, I believe this is, they have different versions of these two. So that's kind of cool. So let's swatch these guys. I can use all these, I believe. I haven't actually used this guy for 200 years. I was looking for him and I completely forgot about him. Yep, yeah, oops. Um, so let's swatch or, whoops. Come on, dude. You know you want to be seen. Hang on, someone wants to be a part. Okay, of course they're gonna look a little bit light <laughs> on me. But yeah, there's those. I can't use them all. Do we need four bronzers in a palette? No. Do we need four eyelids in a palette? No, because they're done with yeah, they could have done it like let's simplify made a four paint. Yeah. Um, but it's cute. I do like him. Um he's 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 one of my older ones in my probably one of my older um face palettes in my collection and I really do like it. Now let's get into these two babies. So sometimes I like to ask my sister what she when she always asks me what I want for Christmas or whatever. And and if a Norse palette comes up my attention, I'm like Norse. Um, so I believe I might have gotten one of these um, on my own, and then my sister got me the other one, which I forget which one. Yeah, I think I got the Narcissus, and she bought me this one. So this is probably the oldest one of the Narciss. So let's start off. Yeah, this is the one I bought. This is a Narciss. Um, they have, and this is wanted too. So this is what he looks like. I can use all of these. Um, this one, of course, and I love when they do this in, I believe, Penthouse. Nice. Really, Nars? Okay. So yeah, I did buy X, the new, um, the new, one of the new blushes they came out with. Um, Orgasm X, and it's beautiful. I really do like it. This is one of these palettes that I'm going to be like, be one of the last things I pan because I love NARS. So these, these guys. The only problem I wish they didn't do is that they put two freaking pale shades in a palette. And it's just to be a puff because no way in hell they're going to show up on anything lighter. <laughs> So I believe this one is, um, let me see if I can get some of these to show up a little bit more, which would be these guys. This guy right here is more of like a satiny highlighter. He's not going to be a very blinding one. And this guy is a little bit, um, a little bit too mauve for my liking. But I, I was looking at the other one and I'm like, they're very too light. I could probably use maybe two and then all these I can probably use. And this one's pretty. It's looking at about... A little bit lighter than it was on camera but here's some swatches especially like that guy <laughs> so there's that one really do like that one yes Nora's come like comes out like similar shades and all in one but hey they do have a bang for a buck because you're getting more blushes than your is and then this is the one that my sister gave me this is the one in um, afterglow yeah this is the one my she gave me so this is this one so oh, there's that one. This one, the, the highlight is more out there. And then this one has two highlighters and then of course four blushes. So looks like I kept still kept that guy. So yippee kaye. Um, so let's swatch these guys for you. Um, and of course exhibit A, which I believe I have in a single. Yep, I have him. And who in the hell are you? I hate when they do this. Um, so this is Liberty, which is kind of cute. 
then uh, floor it. Oh, these guys. Again, like I said, NARS is going to be one of the last things in a ward I'm going to pan because um, I do, of course, I pan my Laguna because he's old um, and I love him. He was beautiful. Um, my first Laguna actually before they we formulate them and made them more um, universal to our skin tones. And I'm going to miss painting Casino as well. Um, Jelly Casino. Um, he's beautiful. Um, but I do have one of the new Nars Lagunas. And he's gorgeous. I love him. I love Nars. Um, it's one of Nars, Nars and Dior is one of my two favorite top brands. And I love Tom Ford. They, they are my babies. Um, they're my dudes. <laughs> I love them. They're my makeup dudes. Um, and they're just really great formulas. They are worth the money, um, especially if you can get them on a discount. So, yeah, um, this is kind of late today with a bold lip. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to go jump in. Might film the second part of this. Maybe. I don't know. After I go find more. I haven't decided. Um, I do, of course, I have duos, which is kind of like tuba, like duos type of thing. So, I might have that and I do have like um eyes and cheek palettes which I have to decide if I want to do that or not. If you want me to um, film that let me know. I'm not sure if I have enough to do a video which I probably do. Probably like three or four of them but not too much. I usually don't buy eye and cheek palettes because it's not my thing. Like today I have the Milani cheek palette um eye and cheek palette on my on my cheeks. It's one of those I keep looking at it and I'm like it's one of those I want to pan him. But then I use them, I'm like, I want to keep them. Because it's just beautiful. Um, I have, like, of course, the darkest one on my cheeks. And it's just, like, of it. The eyes is probably still from the one I filmed on earlier. Which is, um, which it looks like hell. <laughs> um, but, yeah. And then the lips, I have, like, some kind of lip color on. But, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Comment, subscribe. You see in two-part coming up. Uh, I'm not sure when. Um, but, yeah, until then, i see you guys later. Bye, guys.